Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the main channel. Dev Snails for this world featuring the family. Yes, it's a family a fair it's a family affair okay yes law we got the newbies on bravo's neck and holding it right there till they say uncle you know what i'm saying put them in that chokehold and say uh-uh we don't want that to happen we don't want her we doing good by ourselves and that was absolutely true that was absolutely true we don't need portia back we don't need nene back and we don't need Phaedra back because we got some upsetting news. We got to understand why Portia want to come back. And if Portia's not going to open up her life to uh, Father Time, we don't need it. We don't need that headache. We don't need her coming around here talking about the women that were already on the show, have been on the show. They ain't changed. Ain't nothing changed, Portia. But them two right there, they will wear your ass out. And I'm talking really about Kenya. She'll be wanting to know what Simon does, where did he come from, uh, the make and model of <laughs> in and everything. Wasn't he married? Did you not take him from, um, what was her name, uh, Fallon and all that stuff? And then you got the newbies running around him. We need to figure out uh, what can we expect from she by charade on pay. Okay, she by charade on pay. And her debacklement with all that, uh, what do you call it, the closing of her website because she said it crashed. No, nah, that, that wasn't the reason. That wasn't the reason. Sheree, come on now. Come on. So we need to understand why no clothes was able to be bought on the website. And why was a hoodie costing $242. Okay. We need those questions answered. And until we can get them answered, we don't need Nene. We don't need Portia and Phaedra or whoever else wanted to come by. Okay? And, and shine, show up and show out on the show. No, we need to find out why she by Sheree didn't pay. Okay? We need to find out why uh, Ross was acting the way he was acting. Or we need to see a storyline of her trying to have a baby with Ross and all the comings and goings with that. Could be damn sure don't want to hear nothing about no uh, Olympian winner, uh, three time gold medalist, and one time bronze. We don't need to hear about that shit. Not the second half, okay? We don't want to hear about it. We don't want to hear about you raising a baby and what that looks like with Ross not being there all the time. And he said he's going to be there. If you're getting pregnant, you should be pregnant by the time they roll the footage out. For season 15. We want to hear that. We want to hear that other shit. Then we got Drew Sador. We want to know. Is Drew Sador ever going to read that book. That her husband wrote. Because from what we last heard. She ain't, she ain't read that. She ain't read that. And will um, Ralph ever adopt her son. Okay. We had too much on Kenya. Kenya's still doing the same thing. Though she's in a contest. Uh, coming up in the new year. I don't know if it's January or February. But she's supposed to be on a special ops trip. Uh, not trip. But a contest or a reality show. Which shows them to be pitted uh, against the best of the best of the best. And certain things. Like you know when you're in, um, trying to be a, a spy or something like that. They uh, have you do different missions. And they can be real hard and challenging. That's what she don't set herself up for. And to tell you the truth. Yeah we're going to get on you Sheree by Sheree. Uh, no pay woman okay that's why we need her back because she need to answer some questions okay she need to answer some full-fledged and adult ready questions about what the hell happened with her uh, fashion line why she didn't pay the designer why she didn't pay Drew Sador for the party that was thrown for Marlo and Kenya and why uh, she didn't pay the distribution company or whatever she's supposed to have why was she over there sheen shopping and then putting her trademark on it girl 
do you even have your trademark? Can I go out there and buy your trademark, Sheree? Then you actually be paying me. Because if it ain't secured, if you ain't uh, trademarked or copyrighted, anybody and everybody can come after uh, and buy your name of your company. You can't do a damn thing about it. You see what I'm saying? But anyway, that's just forewarning. So if you haven't gotten a trademark, please get a trademark. And, you know, like I said, we, we still having some things where we haven't resolved with uh, Ralph and his situation with Josiah and whether he's going to adopt him or not. So we still have some unfinished business with the current housewives that uh, appear to us on season 14. Now, it's a shame. It's a shame and a scandal that Portia didn't get with a man who was worth what she said he would work. And he's still trying to keep his money because he's retired. Okay. He's retired. He ain't telling nobody, but he probably 65 or older. and Or maybe 62 to retire early. He in that age. He ain't in no 50-some years old. You know, here's what he's trying to get us to believe. But we, we're smarter than that. We're smarter than that. And for personally, I don't see why Portia want to have him on a reality show. Because the one she's trying to get back in. <coughs> excuse me. These ladies going to ask questions. They know this hell. And I'll be right there with them. Listening to everything. And if they forgot something to ask them, I would have sure been checking off the list that y'all asked him. And then I would have had my list that y'all didn't get a chance to ask him. We'll be treating him like he was under surveillance. Or he was uh, getting interrogated. Okay? Yes. That's how we would do father time over there. Because he don't waste plenty of our time. Just looking over there. And we got ready to. And we wanted to, you know, do a little commentary on him and his comings and goings. But as you can see, I got bored as hell. I gave up. Because it's just really, it's not a storyline there. It's not a storyline. I got I got tired of faking with the phone. Okay? I got tired of being hooked, went bamboozled, and uh, shook. Okay, to nothing. I keep coming up thinking they're going to come up with something nothing. They have drawn out this whole wedding thing. And, and you know, I got from close sources saying it was going to be in September before anybody really was saying September. But guess what? They ain't having it, guys. They ain't having it. So she ain't having no weddings in Africa. She couldn't get none of the people over there in Benin to support, meaning be free, all their uh, wears and tears that they wanted to contribute to their nuptials, their wedding ceremony. They said, hell no. Mm -mm. If you ain't paying, we ain't playing, okay? That's pretty much what it was. You ain't paying, we ain't playing. And I'm like, Porsche, why are you going to go around here and be like, Sheree, don't pay? We, we got, mm, <laughs> you've been on shows that were paying y'all lucrative money. And you just wanted to throw it all to the wayside because you thought you had a been uh, millionaire, billionaire boyfriend. Or you trying to get them. Hell, if Fallon couldn't find them with them, what the hell you think you're going to do with them? And see, like, baby girl winning uh, 10 over. 10 over times than you, Portia. Okay, she got with somebody else her age group. That they can definitely have a few more babies if they decide to want to. If they wanted to. You ain't got no more to push, okay? And if you did have one more in the oven to push, Simon too old to be pushing, honey. He, uh, he gonna be, you gonna be his caregiver, like I've always said. And you keep running, running for a race that has already been settled and satisfied. You still out there while the m m main person had won the race, which was Fallon. She don't go on into the sunset. We still waiting on you to cross over uh, the the line to say you finished with the race. Because everybody gone. The TV camera's gone. And you just still out there struggling. Still out there struggling. Say, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. And you coming up empty-handed. You don't want a man that want to be publicized uh, in the gram or, or Facebook or whatever. Showing what he got, where he at and all that. That ain't no uh, material of no rich, well-off man. That's not, that's not, that's nothing there. We needed him to be acting like Big Papa when Kim was uh, getting her little digs on this man. He was paying her rent, he was get, giving her cars to drive, he was buying her jewelry. What the hell is Simon doing? But you never saw her and Big Papa together where they were filming themselves for the public for everyone to see. You see what I'm saying? He was doing wrong because he was still married, but... He didn't have himself out there with Kim, I can promise you that. Or if it was, it was debatable whether it was him or not. Because the photographs weren't really vivid enough for you to say, yes, that's him, or yes, that's not him. Okay, it's all speculation and the windows. And I know you, Portia. Kenya will be on that ass <coughs> about A through Z about your fiance. Yes, yes, yes. And you know, sh sh crazy ass charade. We need her back. She got some explaining to do. Homegirl got some explaining to do. <coughs> but she would be on your ass as well. Drew probably wouldn't because you're wearing 
she's wearing your hair. I don't know if you're giving it to her to wear or she's actually purchasing it. At this point in time, you should not be donating any more hair to Drew. Drew has done her job. Everybody felt that Drew had a bomb diggity this time around. And she can all give it to you. So she need to pay you for the wears and tears of your hairline. If that's in fact what she's been wearing on every episode that she was filmed in. Now, I'm kind of confused with this story. Because at first I thought I heard Candy and Kenya was wanting Portia to come back. That she was good for TV. But now I'm hearing, uh-uh. Sheree don't want her back. Kenya don't want her back. Candy don't want her back. And the newbies don't want her back. And we damn know Sheree up in the air with anything. She won't phase her back. And we know that's not going to happen. So, I guess Candy has another year on the season. Because <coughs> Candy did say, she going to roll with Bobbo until they don't want to roll with her no more. It ain't going to be no hard feelings. Because she's going to be to establish everything that she's probably wanted and then some. So it wouldn't be a, a, a evil thing or an upsetting thing if she was not asked to come back. But was on the streets of Atlanta right now. Everybody coming back. Okay. And we may have a little surprise with a, an additional. Uh, I, <laughs> I heard it was Cynthia Bailey. And uh, Portia. But hell, we don't even want them uh, really being friends of the show. It's no sense. We don't dealt with them. Uh, been off the show for a year, and it fared really well. Uh, we were kind of upside down with. Uh, at first, I was liking Sonya, and and her uh, <coughs> her situation she was bringing to the show. Then um, I was liking uh, Drew Sedora. Uh, she got rid of Fatoon, which I think that would have been a very good uh, storyline if we would have kept Fatoon. But it seems like. Uh, Miss uh, Drew couldn't handle for two, okay? She really couldn't. And um, the executives felt that she was more of a liability. Uh, and they just said, we'll, we'll keep Drew because Drew has been promising. Uh, her storyline is developing. And uh, we'll go with Drew and get rid of for two. We'll find another friend of the show, you know, whatever. Uh, we don't want no more people from Candace side to come because she, she's been giving us too many people in the first damn place. Okay, uh, we don't want to see my Yata. I would love to see Heath better than I would want to see uh, my Yata. Because my Yata's trying to be like Cynthia. She's giving me that role that she would play Cynthia's role. And you know, we've been trying to throw Cynthia off the boat for a very long time. And I'm like, Cynthia, we don't want you. Or I don't want you to come back. Because I think you're doing real well with your acting career or, or whatever you're doing over there. You're showing and proving. So coming back to this show will only be detriment to your career. Because you're trying to be seen as an actress now. You're not trying to be seen as a reality, you know, star and all that it details where you're going to have to act wretched as hell. We don't want you to be doing that. We want you to be standing in your own shit, building your brand as much as possible. And, um, yeah, that kind of stuff. I, I like you where you are, Cynthia. So... Think about that before you come back to a show that's going to probably pay you real good, but you're going to have to look like the fool, or you're going to have to look like, you know, an afterthought. We don't want that from you, Cynthia. We don't want that from you. And when it comes to Portia, we don't really give a shit, because Portia had it all. She had a, 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 she was on the radio, she was a radio personality person, giving the tea and the news, and then she was on a hot rated show, which is Real Housewives of Atlanta. But see, Portia is a truly, truly liability. You can't it's like you can't tell the weather. You can predict it, but anything can happen. You see what I'm saying? Because you're not in charge of the weather and how it comes and goes. The Lord is. But anyway, uh, mm -mm. I, if I was a newbie on the show, I'd be fighting too. Because it's like you had your opportunity to be on the show. They wanted you on the show, but you caught yourself. Uh uh, I got me a billionaire. I got me a millionaire. Husband, I'm finna do something else. And maybe Barbara would give me a special. Well, look at, look at, look at who came to cook it. They give you one and you fucked that up. You fucked it up real bad, Portia. So pretty much, I just want you to go on into the sunset. If you're gonna marry for all the time, marry him, okay? Sign a prenup and get it over with. Because we too through and tied with that situation, that storyline. Do it, baby girl, or don't do it. We don't give a fuck. The only thing we're going to look at is the aftermath that you're going to give us commentary to talk about. The aftermath. Okay? Oh, that's where I am with it. 
as a blogger. I want to see what the athlete. I don't want to see nothing uh, taking off, taking place, because all is for the, the gram. Everything is for a show. I want to see what you're going to be doing after the fact that you become Simon Father Time's wife. Okay? But I think the girls did a very good job. Kenya didn't have to work so hard. You know what I'm saying? She made Marla work hard. But that's what she does because she's a seasoned actress. She's a seasoned businesswoman. And she knows her temperament, what she can, what she can't stand, okay? When she really can't stand it, she going about her business. She act like she don't hear Marlo. She act like uh, she's in the room with Marlo, but she's doing other things in her mind. <laughs> Instead of paying attention to whatever Marlo is saying and doing, okay? So, like I said, Marlo did, uh, she was supposed to play the villain part. And the not lockable part, she needs an award for that, okay? Because she acted her ass off as a trashy person, okay? Person that you don't even want to have near you, by you, or thought of, or, or with you, okay? You got Sheree come around here and talking about some fashions and stuff. We just need her here for season 15 to answer the question. Because right now, she's forever on my lips as she by Sheree don't pay, okay? Don't pay, don't pay, don't pay. Every every damn day. She don't pay. All right? So, <clears throat> then, uh, Drew Sador can get on Sheree about that as well. Because she didn't pay Drew either. She didn't pay Drew shit. Throw the party for uh, Kenya and uh, Marlo. And didn't pay a dime. Okay? So, she in rears with that as well. We damn sure don't want to see Marlo talk about them kids and throwing them out. Is you going to be their caregiver or you're not? Okay? That's what we're with you when you come back for season 15. We don't want to hear that shit about what kids are doing, what they're doing, this, that, and third. Because they are kids. This is what they do. Parents' head be going gray. Okay? Before it's time. Because their kids are just fucking up. And they trying to keep them on a steady path. Okay? Oh. But that's something you haven't really learned. And we're not going to take from you no more. Not this season. With you coming back on 15, we don't want to hear about no foster care. How it fucked you up. How you did this, that, and the third. How We don't want to hear that shit, Marlo. Because either you're going to get help through therapy and prayer. Or you're going to just accept the shit and move on. Because we don't want to hear about it. We, we really don't. Okay, don't bring that as your storyline. It's them damn kids. We don't want to hear about it. We don't want to hear about it. Again, we don't want to hear about it. Only thing we want to know is you're doing everything positive that you possibly can do for the boys. You can show us. You can show us you shopping, buying them things. You can show us you working with them and their homework, whatever you can do. Because we know it just is what it is with you. You ain't about helping nobody with no homework. And it's understandable. You're up in age, and the math is just not computing how we were learning it back in the day. Probably the English language unchanged as well, too. So, you need to have tutors on deck because I know they're giving you money for being their caregiver for the state of Georgia because that's what they do. Okay? So, you, you need to be, if you ain't using that money, you need to be using it for a college fund. Okay? Because you're, you're raising black uh, kings, as you say. So, the kings need to be definitely educated. And we will round it before they go out and try to be business owners, okay? They need that foundation. And you took up the task to do it, so we want you to do it, okay? But right now, all of these two are really shining as OGs. And, of course, you know, we want to see them back. Maybe not so much as Candy, but Candy going to ride that, that, that horse until it's dead, okay? And that's where we all got to accept it. She ain't going nowhere. Uh-uh. She's going to continue to build and build and build. And we need her storyline to be... Why does she let Mama Joyce say the things she says about her two younger children as well as Tar? Is there going to be any type of uh, loyalty she has <coughs> for her younger two grandchildren? You know, it was kind of piss poor. Piss poor on Mama Joyce's part and piss poor on your part, Candy. We need you to make sure <coughs> while you have breath in your body and you have good sense, mind and body. We need you to go ahead and finish that estate planning. Because one thing we don't want to see it after you're gone is that Riley didn't get what she needed. Or she didn't get what she wanted. She got your husband in court because she's um, brought a, 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 a contestment against his ass. Okay? Because you may think you know Todd. But once Todd's out of your sight, you don't know what he can do. Uh, hell, you, you got to look at uh, past some of your friends that got divorces. 
you thought the man was doing right or whatever or the guy was doing right by the female and they weren't and they hauled their asses in court and making a judge decide the decisions that they could have decided for themselves but they didn't people change candy people are not as you think they are especially when money is involved okay because, like, that would have been a fight for you and Todd when he was on the show with uh, DJA1 saying you were selfish. You shouldn't be doing that. And your mother should not be in that. See, that, that shows some strong discord in your family. So, if you don't want to show us, get that shit straight now. Real quick, fast, in a hurry. All right? You can have a black attorney if you don't feel good about the white man. You can have an Asian attorney. You can have an Indian attorney. There's several attorneys you can have out there that would be non-biased. You see what I'm saying? They are just only looking in a business standpoint and what you feel you need for your, your, your uh, siblings that you want to leave money for or your uh, how much you want to leave your family. Uh, I'm not talking about your, your, your son and your two girls. Uh, we're talking about you know, you got Mama Joyce over there. You got Aunt Nora. You got Bertha. Uh, who else we got? Mama Joyce. Uh, and probably Patrick and Melvin. And Melvin got shot. I don't know what's going on with that situation. Candy, can you tell us what's going on with that situation? A guy could have been out of here. Could have been out of here. What are they arguing? And why do you not have uh, metal detectives to detect somebody got a firearm on them? Girl. Girl. Oh, you need to come on out the restaurant business because neither one of you are taught ain't even there. Just put it up. Just put it up. Just have your silent partner buy it. They buy it from you all and y'all do stuff that y'all need y'all need to do. Because you ain't there. You ain't there. You don't understand anything. Now, what if the boy would have shot up a lot of people in your restaurant, including patrons, meaning guests? What was you going to do? Because all the lawsuits that would have been brought against you, baby girl would have been so enormous you wouldn't have anything to do but shut down your restaurants so if you're not going to get a off-duty cop to make sure they're there at all of your establishments you don't need to have no restaurant girl you don't need to have one <coughs> and Todd need to uh be biting the bullet on that as well because if you're not there in your restaurant at least 90 percent of the time shit happens and you're going to be liable for all of that candy. So I guess that can be your storyline too. Because I think somebody, I think Kim Pye was saying something about you all going to be start taping in uh, September, which is next month. Uh, hell no, we in September, man. Oh, my Lord. Okay, y'all going to be taping in a couple of weeks for season 15. You see where we're going with this candy? So, yeah, you need to make that a part of your storyline and what you're going to be doing about that situation for all three of your restaurants, okay? Because you ain't going to do right, you ain't going to do by, right about it, you're going to have a lot of litigation against you. Okay? Because like I said, you had shooting before, two years ago. All right? Now you up on here and got another shooting this year, and it was your uh, baby boy? You know, he's your cousin, but you said they were your babies at the time because he lived totally with you. And you pr practically raised him. Girl. <coughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But that's all I got for this video, guys. It was just told to me uh, that, you know, it's a hot mess on the, uh, the uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. But all the cast are coming back. Yep. But uh, we, we can't have no sympathy or empathy for Portia. She had it all and she let it go. So she needs to just try with another network or whatnot and, and be on by, by, her, by their business. And we know Phaedra would love, we would love to come back to Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because at first, you know, she lied and said she didn't want to be a part of no reality shows. It was beneath her. She was moving on. That was one part of her life. But now she's writing the other story. But she's coming back wanting to be on Dubai. Yeah, because you really want to be on Atlanta. But you know, if Candy's still there, there's an unhidden rule that's being said. You can't be there. You see what I'm saying? And since Candy's literally not finished making her money with them, they are providing her spinoff shows as well. That people can stomach and pay attention to and enjoy. But <sighs> Phaedra? Phaedra's just like Portia. You bit off more than you could chew. You thought you was a shit. And you ran it too much in the ground. That's why Nene is where she is. That's why you're where you're at. Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Phaedra and... Um, what's her name? Portia is where she's at. Okay? Looking on the outside. Wanting to get back in. 
But that's all I got. Y'all ain't got no more. Get down in the uh, uh, comment section. Let me know. Weigh in with me regarding on what the topic that I had spoke about. What you what your feelings are about it. You know, should we let Portia come back? Should we let Nene come back? And should we be in an uproar for Phaedra to come back? I say hell to the no, no, no. Okay? They had their chance. They blew it. They started talking about the network real bad. And, and you know, just, I'm talking about Nene really. But I'm um, like, it's, it's just it's what it is. They had their time. Let's move on. There's too many other people out here in Atlanta or any other place they're trying to get them. They come here just to be filmed on a reality show. We need to see other people's lives, okay? We won't need, because we're going to get rid of, uh, we don't want to see Drew and uh, Sonya too much longer. Okay, maybe Drew will outlast Sonya. But if Sonya don't step up her game and, and have Ross out of her business when it comes to the women, she ain't gonna, it's going to be her uh, 15 in her last season, too. Because one thing uh, Bravo does listen to is the facts, the ratings. They hear what the people, which is us, are saying. And we have good evidence we're backing it up with. Porsche, Porsche's a hot wire. And she still got that fight in her. That's something she always had, I guess. I guess everybody kept beating her up in high school. Her mama said, if you're going to fight, you better win. And she got that mentality in her head and never got rid of it. Because we as grown-ups, we can't put hands on nobody unless we ready to go. We already got our bail money ready and set. And we ready to take that charge, okay? Well, like I said, I don't know. Portia just bit off more she could chew. She thought she was marrying somebody or getting involved with somebody that was going to let her live a lucrative life. Portia, the only way you can satisfy that and seize that moment if you do it for yourself, baby girl. Don't get it because a man trying to give it to you. Get it because you want to get it for yourself. And you want to be able to uh, divide it wherever you want to see it going. Okay? Your money. Your time. Your life. Okay? But that's all I got for this video, guys. I ain't got no more. Make sure you subscribe and like my videos. And I'll see y'all on the next one. Bye-bye.